Hey, I'm going to show you how you can download macOS Sequoia, that's macOS 15, directly from the command line in Terminal. Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. I'm so excited that you're here, and let's get started. So in order to download this, you're going to have to enable developer mode for whatever Mac you're on. So I'm going to go into System uh, Settings, which is the old Preferences menu. And then in here, you're going to go into General, and then Software Update. And you're going to see something that should look like this on Mac OS Sonoma. Now, if you want to run the latest Xcode 15, or sorry, 16, you need to have um, 4.5, which is the latest version from Apple as of today. And then if you want to take advantage of some of the newer features, you're going to need to run this on Sequoia. So you're going to need to run and install Sequoia. Now, I want to install Sequoia on a external SSD. So I've got a Samsung T5 that's 512 gigabytes. I want to install the operating system there so that I don't trash this machine. And I can keep this one on Sonoma just so that I have two different versions to work with. This is totally possible. All we have to do is we have to enable beta updates for this to work. So if you switch to this and if you're an Apple developer, you should see the Sequoia developer beta here. Enabling this will provision your Mac. So hit done. It's going to look for an update and then it will allow you to install it and overwrite your current operating system. But I don't want to do it that way. I want to download it from the command line so that I can install it wherever I want to install it. All right, so the only option here is to, uh, clicking that more info just shows you a website. Um, let's bring that back up. I don't want to install it um, from here because this is going to overwrite my install but I've provisioned my Mac so that I can now use the terminal to figure out what version this is. So let's go over to our terminal and you can just open up terminal. I already have it open, but if you just open up terminal, you'll get a, a new um, terminal prompt. I also have iTerm here. Uh, that's kind of weird. Did I not type that right? Terminal. All right, so let's just do it in terminal. So I'll just bring this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the software update command. And I didn't realize this existed until today, which is kind of cool. This has a ton of different options for us to use. The ones that we care about are list full installers, fetch full installers, and then this last one, full installer version. So let's go ahead and use those. I've got a little guide here over on the left side that we're going to just sort of follow along with. So I'm going to write software update fetch full installer, and then list full installers. So doing that, it's going to look for any software. Now, if you didn't do the provisioning profile part right here, you're not going to see beta version. So you'd only see maybe the latest Mac OS Sonoma that are digitally signed, and you wouldn't see anything else. If you did this step over on the left, you should now see the beta is here. You can see the build number. And you can see the size, which is big. It's like 15 gigabytes or so. All right, so if we want to install this, then the next thing that we need to do is we need to fetch the full installer and then give it the command to actually install it. That is going to be the full installer version, and then we give it the, the version. So we're going to just write that. So let's go ahead and write that. Software update fetch full installer. And then we're going to do full installer version. And it's 15.0. Now, this is beta 1. When beta 2 comes out, I don't think there's any way to specify which one. You're just going to get the latest one. And in the Mac OS version is going to stay 15.0 until it launches later this year. So when you need to update or if you want to do a fresh install with the latest version, you can just redo this command to get the latest version of the installer. And then downloading that um, will take a little bit of time. It'll show you that it's downloading. So it's going to look to see if it exists. And then it will start to download it if you don't already have it. So let's give that a second. All right, so now we're going to see this installing. Because everyone's hammering it right now, this is going to take a bit of time. Last night, I was getting 50 megabytes per second. Today, it's a lot slower. I'm downloading it two different ways right now. 
Um, this one is downloading at 2.7 megabytes a second, so it's going to take over an hour. Um, this one's probably going to be pretty similar. Now, I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to stop this, and let's see if I can put it back. So this is what it's going to actually install. I'm just going to put this back so you can see what it's going to do. So if I were to run this one more time and it finished, um, what you're going to see is it's going to open that up for us. So if we just give that a second. What you should experience is it'll pop up and then it says that it's installed successfully. You can continue, you can agree, and then you can choose where you want to install it. All right. I'm going to have details on how to set up the SSD in the next video. So if this was helpful, hit the like button and you want to learn more about getting started with beta versions of Mac OS, uh, you can subscribe and, and learn more about different programming topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.